every single modded cover, but it will give you some ideas if you're still wanting to improve the look of things. So let's take a look. Extreme Particles Overhaul. This mod enhances commonly used vanilla flickering fire lighting, including the burning barrels and oil lamps, tweaking their radius, giving them a deeper orange colour, and intensifies the flickering effect to make it more appealing. It also adds burning fire sounds to some large fires that were silent, and it really does make the wasteland feel more realistic. Improved Lighting Ballistics, this mod improves lighting in game and adds lights to projectiles and explosions. It adds visible tracers to ballistic ammo as well, which is the most important part. I've also added to go with this gorgeous glowing plasma weapons and these two mods really improve the overall gameplay with you actually being able to see bullets now and at night especially with energy weapons, you can see in the video it looks really good visually. It's also good to see enemies firing at each other and you can actually see the bullets and you can also tell where enemies are firing from because the bullets are a lot more visible. Clean Faces of Settlers, this is a simple mod. The NPCs for the most part have decent faces, especially compared to say Skyrim, but the biggest issue is they are all very dirty and this mod simply removes that from them and I think it's a really big improvement. Pick me up if you're feeling glum. Wasteland Creatures Redone is essentially a reskin that alters the enemy creatures in games and adds more variety to them, including bloatflies, bramin, deathclaws, feral ghouls, mirelarks, mole rats, mongrels, mosquitoes, mutant hounds, roaches, rad scorpions, rad stags, stingwings, and yaogwai. Not only does it make them look better, but the variety is a lot better when you're just out exploring instead of coming across the exact same enemy every time. The Deadly Commonwealth expansion is a mod that adds in and improves a lot of the enemy factions in game and makes improvements to the visual look of them. It also repopulates bases, adds new weapons, new armors, more bosses and custom voices for those bosses as well. But it's more importantly improves all of the raiders, gunners, ghouls, super mutants and children of Atom to be better looking and more unique in game. Post-apocalyptic handmade weapons including pipe guns, pistols and assault rifles. Being a game with guns, there are of course thousands of weapon mods to add new weapons into the game, but if you want to retexture some of the vanilla weapons, this is a good one to improve the looks visually and give them a higher quality texture that looks good in the next gen update. Likewise, we have another improvement to something in the vanilla game, and that is enhanced vanilla body with immersive underwear. A better base body for your player and NPCs, giving them a bit of a better shape. Synth Overhaul cast a new and improved look to the synths in the Commonwealth and adds more variety to them as well, so most are unique looking. This includes 70 different looking armor pieces with different chrome colors, including gray, white, blue, purple, orange, blue metal, green, black, and white. There's also 28 different looking helmets for them, 24 different looking uniforms, and two different looking synth weapons. And if you come across a group of synths, each and every one of them will have a slightly different look now, which is really cool. Our last mod is the classic Ghoul Redix, and it's one of my favourite mods and completely overhauls the look of the regular ghouls in game, like these guys here at the slog. This mod replaces all vanilla non-feral ghouls with classic types from Fallout 3 and New Vegas, includes full dismemberment, hand sculptured details, and has redone custom faces for the NPCs as well. 
and I think this is one of the biggest improvements to NPCs for any mod in the game. So guys, there we have it, 10 more awesome mods for you to try out to improve your Fallout 4 in the next gen update and have slightly better looking graphics or more realism. I will probably make some more of these videos, but I think we're done with the graphic overhauls for now, since the game's not going to get much better looking on console, especially with the 2GB mod limit. But there are still a lot of cool mods you can play with in the game if you want me to go over some of them. If you do, let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.